برای اینکه ایشون نمیخواد با من بیاد همین الان ایشون بگه میاد و همین الان رضایت میدم دیگه دادخواستمو پس میگیرم The film opens in divorce court with Nader a bank employee and his estranged wife, Sinin, a doctor, appearing before a judge. Sinin is filing for divorce because she wants to leave the country. She feels if they left, life would improve for them and their daughter, Terme. But Nader refuses to go. He says he needs to tend to his father, who suffers from Alzheimer's. We watch the couple's strained faces as they argue their case. We don't see the judge. In a sense, we are the judge. Although the court refuses to grant the divorce, Nader and Simin agree on an informal separation. In Simin's absence, Nader hires a working-class woman to help look after his father. The woman is negligent. And Nader's dad has a near-fatal accident. Nader gets into an argument with a caretaker. The argument escalates, and Nader pushes the woman out of the house. The caretaker files a complaint against Nader. She tells the court she was pregnant and claims she lost the baby because of Nader's shove. Nader says he had no idea the woman was pregnant. The cast of characters is caught in a web of deception and despair. Peyman Moadi plays Nader, a decent but stubborn man who sees his world crumbling around him. 11-year-old Terme, played by the director's daughter, Sarina Farhadi, offers a heartbreaking performance as the innocent girl who lies to keep her family together. Sare Bayat interprets the caretaker, a deeply pious working-class woman who distorts the truth for money. Askar Farhadi's drama offers up a society where lying is a sin, but its people are forced to bend the truth to overcome dubious court rulings, religious codes of ethics, and day-to-day misery. Penelope Pulu, VOA News, Washington.